how to add products to Google Merchant Center. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be showing you how you can directly add products to your Google Merchant Center. And Google Merchant Center is a platform that is going to enable you to market your products for free, to run ads or display your products directly on Google, YouTube, and any of its other related platforms. Plus, instead of having to link it to your Shopify or any other e-commerce store, you can promote or upload your products directly on the Google Merchant Center, which is one of the most easiest and simplest ways that you can promote your products. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you need to head on over to Google Merchant Center and click on sign up for free or just click on sign in. I already have a previous account on Google Merchant Center, so I'm just going to sign in. But if you don't have one, you can obviously create your new account and select the Google profile you want to use. Now, with that, you have your product section on the left side of your screen in a navigation panel. In this navigation panel, you will be able to view all of your products. And adding product is not as simple as a lot of people think it might be. The reason for this is there are a few rules that you need to keep in mind whenever you are adding products to your Google Merchant Center. Now, one way to add product is going to be directly to import from your pre-existing listings on your Shopify, Wix, or any other e-commerce store that you have created. However, this can encompass with a different kind of hassle because those products are optimized for your own website. And Google Merchant Center is very different from your own website. These products are not going to be displayed in the manner that you ought to display them with the Merchant Center settings. So I recommend that you get started from scratch whenever you're using the Google Merchant Center to add products because those kinds of listings need to be optimized differently as compared to your Shopify or your own personal store. So what you want to do is click on product on the left side of your screen and click on add products. Now, after that, you have to add the countries that you want to display your products in. Obviously, if you're someone that is based uh, with a business in Canada, you might not want to be shipping in Spain because it's simply not feasible for your product. So I don't recommend, even if you are offering worldwide shipping, if it's more expensive for you to ship in to different countries, then don't select every country possible. Only select the countries that it is most convenient or you want to focus on. So depending on the type of product as well, let's say you're an international brand, but some of your higher end products might be marketed towards a different country than some of your, you know, multi-ranging or multi-variated -variate, price products. So you need to keep all of these things in mind whenever you are adding products. So let's say we want to start our business and show our business in Canada. And now I will just continue on over here. Now I can choose to connect to Shopify and that is going to automatically sync up my products. However, this is not the best option. So I recommend that you get started by adding your products one by one. Now you can use a Google Sheets template where you can add all of your information in a Google Sheet where it provides you all of the fields and then you can add your products directly to that sheet and the products will be added. I recommend this method as well because once you've done it one by one, it can be a little time consuming. So I recommend that if you are just getting started, add your products one by one. Once you are accustomed of how you want to add the titles, descriptions, prices, and more, then you can enter the information in bulk directly into the Google Sheets and then have it automated in directly. Or you can even use a pre-existing XLS or CSV file. So I'm going to be adding the products one by one. I'm just going to click on continue on the bottom. Now, this is the most important section of your basic Google Merchant Center listing. Because it is not easy to create listings that are eye-catching, that are going to fit with Google Google's requirements. So make sure that you are reading the subtext on the left and right sides. So this is where you're going to find all of the rules that Google has. So you guys can see this is the page where your website of the website and people will land uh, on this specific page whenever they click on your image or Google Merchant ad. So make sure you add high quality details that match your online store 
and add details that help your products appear in more places on Google. So I'm going to take my Shopify store and I am just going to take a listing I've added, although it's not for this particular product. I'm going to copy and paste it over here. Now, after that, I have my title. So let's say our website is going to be called Durden Store or Durden. And if you offer multiple different brands within your specific multi brand store, you want to specify the brand that this product is from. So let's say you have like a general store, you know, you have a general uh, sportswear store. So you're selling things by Nike as well as Adidas as well as Puma. So you want to make sure that for all of those products, you are mentioning the brand. For me, if I have my own label, I can just enter title and brand as the same thing. But if we have a brand like that, we want to maybe add the specific brand. So it might be Puma or it might be whatever brand it is but for us we're going to go with Durden. Now after that you have to enter a description. So I do recommend that you add at least a couple of lines at least like three four hundred words for your description. It really is better if you provide a little more detail and you also need to make sure you're including keywords because keywords are probably one of the game changers that are going to help you boost your business. But after that, you have your images. So images have certain requirements on Google Merchant Center. First off, you have non-apparel images needs to be at least 100 by 100 pixels and apparel images. So if you're selling clothes, you know, your images need to be at least 250 by 250 pixels. You can't have anything larger than 64 megapixels and no image should be larger than 16 megabytes. Now, additional images are crucial to understand what the product looks like and I recommend that you create multiple different images of the same product in multiple different angles. Another very important tip is that if you have apparel images, you have uh, backgrounds that are simple and basic to understand. So if you have a plain basic white background, that is going to be probably the best optimized with Google. For example, if I'm dropshipping and I have my products over here, like a t-shirt like this. So I have my image over here and you guys can see this is like the product image. One thing I do recommend is that a lot of the product images that you're drop shipping have, you know, these text items. So you wanna make sure your product does not have any text or anything else added to it. And if I was to show you guys another example, let's say I search for t-shirt and I go into images. Now, whatever image or design you might have, like this one, I have this great image, but let's say I don't want any of the background for this. So for this, this is like a very basic background, but if I have an image like this, I still want to remove the background and I can just save my image. Obviously, you will have your image saved and then you can go into remove.bg to remove your background. So just upload your image over here. So in this way, you can remove the background and then put the image on a basic white background to upload to your Google product. So I'm just going to uh, directly add a image from my downloads, but I do recommend that you remove the background and add a white background. You can also choose to provide a image URL as well if you want to go with that route. But I'm just going to add one image just so we can meet the requirements and we're just going to click on add. Now after that you have your product type and the price. Now a few things to keep in mind are that you have to make sure you're specifying what type of product this is. So this is apparel and you can add another product type which is t-shirts. You can add another product type, so you can add multiple different product types, whichever befits your specific product, you can add upwards of eight product types. Now, make sure in your title, you have a very specific title for your specific product. So now I have a few general examples. Now, with Google Merchant Center, you want to optimize this for Google. So if a customer is searching for apparel or, you know, something like that, they will have the gender, obviously, so it's going to be female. If you're selling males, males apparel items, you're going to add male. Then you have your first and second keyword, which might be printed t-shirt or graphic printed t-shirt. And then you also have to include the brand, which might be Durden, Puma, Nike, you know, whatever your brand name is. 
and then you want to add you know the specific kind of uh, color that you have like this so this title is a little funky you can obviously customize this and uh, you know remove a couple of keywords because those are not befitting but you want to make sure you include this kind of format in your specific product title so in terms of just other you know product you have the brand product name color material for example, if you're doing something like hardware, you can have things like adhesive tape, 3 meters, black, 60 by uh, 1 inch or something like that. After that, you have your price. Obviously, you're going to add a price, availability, sale price, and then you have your product identifiers. You want to make sure you add your own identifiers if you are tracking your uh, product, but you guys can also add mpins. You also have language and then you have your detail. Now, in your detail, you have to add color. Obviously, if you have several colors, you can add one color followed up by a secondary color. Black, red, then you can add your sizes like this, regular, like so. This is a female t-shirt and the material is cotton, it's printed, and it is targeted towards adults. Now, after that, you have your additional details. Obviously, if it's an adult product, if it is provided in a bundle, and then you have your energy efficiency. This is not something that is added to a lot of different products. And then you have your basic shipping information. You want to add your shipping service. You can add that by simply clicking on shipping over here and link your shipping services to your Google Merchant Center to make your product more authentic and reliable. And then after that, you have your minimum and maximum handling time. So it's usually two to six or two to five days. And after that, you can click on save and add another to continue on adding products onto Google Merchant Center directly. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.